So what's the question again, Kalei? What does discernment mean? So discernment is a gift from God. It's an ability to discern spirits, to know if a person have an evil spirit or a good spirit. Basically, to know if they have a spirit of God or the spirit of the devil. Because it's either the devil or God, you know, good or evil. So, you know, just like for an example, Naya had a friend that she brought into the house. And as soon as that person walked past me, I discerned their spirit. And I knew they had an evil spirit. You know, and I warned Naya, I said, that person have an evil spirit. I said, that thing is deeply rooted. It's all up and through their bloodline, just wickedness. And I warned her. And she said, well, Ma, why you say that? You, you know, like, give me an example of, of, of what could be wrong with him that you would call him evil. I said, well, God revealed things in part. So I don't know, you know, um, any of his behaviors or anything like that. But I just know I feel his evil, evil spirit. And later on, she ended up going through some experiences, as you know, with her and his family that confirmed the evil and the wickedness. And so to this day, now I as a believer that when I feel something and I tell you God have allowed me to feel this, she knew it to be to be so. So that's what their discernment is. It's a gift. It's a gift from God to allow you to know things on a spiritual level in the spiritual realm before you know you actually know in the natural realm before a person even act out an evil behavior you already know god allow you to discern you know their intentions to see if they have good intentions or evil intentions as well so yeah that's what discernment is and it's it's a beautiful gift to have it will help you avoid a lot of unnecessary pain a lot of unnecessary warfare if you listen to the voice of God that speaks through discernment. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That kind of, did that answer your question? Mm -hmm. So do you think you have discernment? Yeah. That's, yeah. Why, I, I'm, that's why I'm letting you know. Oh, okay. okay. That person uh -huh. is a good person. Okay. Very okay. good person. Yeah, you can feel, you can feel it. God will allow you to have that intuition to feel, you know, and know um, if a person mean you good or evil. And then, you know what, some people, you know, have an evil spirit and it, you know, and they're battling a spirit and don't even know it, right? And need deliverance. Then you have some people who are being influenced by Satan, but they themselves have a wicked heart. Like there's a difference. Cause you know, you got good people who got a good spirit. They may even have the Holy Ghost, but they may be influenced to do something evil but when they do evil, they actually feel bad. They actually feel convicted about what they did that was wrong. And they'll acknowledge it, apologize, repent, and then change their behavior. Then you have people who are actually evil at heart and they have an evil spirit. They, they're evil and they know they're evil and they mean to be evil. And their pure intentions are to hurt you. You get what I'm saying? Like sometimes you got people that love you, that do bad things. They don't mean to hurt you. They don't mean to do evil things, but they are over. They they are um they are possessed sometimes or oppressed sometimes by evil spirits, and they need deliverance. They're not even aware, you know. But then again, I just want you to understand there's two types of, of, of people um, that we deal with when it comes to um, dealing with evil. You know, people who are just evil and people who may just have an evil spirit that are actually good people that need deliverance. There, there's a difference. Because trust me, oh my God, I've experienced both. Some people, they don't even want deliverance. They enjoy being evil. They wake up wanting to be evil. They go to sleep wanting to be evil. They, they eat evil for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not going to apologize for nothing. They're not going to repent for nothing. They're not going to feel bad about nothing. They're going to sleep good at night. Matter of fact, the, the world definition of those type of people are called psychopaths. Those are people that will kill you, you in cold crazy. blood. And not feel no remorse. You know what's crazy? 